In 1971, jazz legend Louis Armstrong gave his last known trumpet performance at the National Press Club in Washington. He was in failing health and doctors had warned him against it, but he went on stage and CBS News was there to record it. Now that lost recording is being released, cultural correspondent Wynton Marsalis, a disciple of Louis Armstrong, looks at this musical treasure. Hello, darling. I didn't know that this recording existed, and I've listened to a lot of Louis Armstrong. Uh, this is a great find. Not so much for the virtuosity of his playing, but for the joy of his presence at that age and at that stage of life. Good evening, everybody. We have to imagine we're in a room, and all of a sudden one person comes in without a light show or without any special effects. They come in and just their sound alone changes the entire feeling in the room. When it's sleepy time down, steamboats up the river coming to go in. I was shocked by the energy and vigor of his playing. The material, I'd heard those songs many times, but that he could play with this type of energy and intensity with that amount of time off, it was shocking. Oh, the shock had pretty deep there. And he shows them when they fight. He was having a great time, and it's enlightening to hear him at this stage of his life. Everybody kind of knows he's not going to make it uh, for much longer, but he brings that same joy and energy and zest uh, for living that, that is the hallmark of Louis Armstrong, the person. <laughs> My favorite track on this recording is Pops' version of The Boy from New Orleans. He takes you through his whole history. It starts with him being born in Jane Alley in, in, in dire poverty, and then in developing his trumpet plan and wanting the neighborhood to be proud of him. Now as I grew up, I joined the band. And this is something that Louis Armstrong had his entire life. It's a humility and a desire to please people with great quality music. And I think that was his gift. He was able to turn the, the light of the human soul on. And every time he breathed a note, either playing or singing, he could, he could uplift our spirits and, and the heavens would open up and we would begin to see the world and feel the world in a different way. Louis Armstrong was one of the greatest human beings to ever set foot on this planet. He gave us a healing that still sits with us. Thank you, Pops. The two things I love about that is, number one, the music, and secondly, Wynton's love for the man. He is so eloquent in the way he's, I mean, really in the way Wynton speaks about everything, and, and we're so lucky to have him as part of the CBS family, but I do, I, I agree, the way he lays it out for you, you know, first you have the music to lay it out for you, and then you have the music of his words to put it all together. And it really something very special, and, and, and not a lot of people can do that, touch you in that way with their music. Yeah. And we're lucky that people like that walk among us, you know, mm -hmm. Louis Armstrong and Wynton Marsalis and what they bring to getting inside of ourselves and the feeling that they have for the music and for the country. Good stuff.